Hey, what's up, you guys? <laughs> Back to my channel. Today, I am reacting to I Spoil Into the Wild for Everybody by Moon King. It was just to me by this one person right here. And I'm guessing we're having always Cat Fridays, as long as you guys keep wanting to wear your cat videos. So, guys, if you want more videos like that, please keep commenting down below. I love doing them. They're weird, funny, and they're creative. So, guys, we're going to it. And Mary Guys, I'm not a cat show right now. As well, and in this content, is inappropriate to you. Do not watch it. Go! Boom! Hi, it's Moon Kitty with an I as in I'm going to spoil warrior cats for everyone. People keep commenting like, you spoiled this for me, you spoiled that for me. That came out seven years ago, but you still spoiled it for me. So I've decided to make a video where I spoil what you definitely haven't read, Into the Wild. So, Tiger Claw, Red Tail, and Mouse for Fight River Clan, and Red Tail tells them to retreat, and Tiger Claw's like, no. Meanwhile, Blue Star is concerned that her clan is too small, even though two-thirds of the other clans can be counted on one hand. So Spotted Leaf makes up something about fire to console her, and Blue Star goes off to commit arson. But none of that matters. Our main character, Rusty, keeps dreaming about normal cat things like catching mice and being in the forest. This is clearly an indication of his destiny, so he goes into the wild and meets Graypaw. So they have a kitten fight for about two seconds before some other cats show up. Great job beating up my apprentice, says Lionheart. And Blue Star, being too chicken to actually commit arson, decides that she can scoot around the prophecy by declaring this orange-colored cat to be fire. They ask him to join them, and the next day he's 100% ready to abandon his best friend for a group of nudist strangers. They bring him home, and this guy Why? called Longtail springs up like, We do not need another cat in this household. Oh, look, they're playing, says Blue Star as Longtail murders her new son. What the fudge? Then Rusty's collar comes off, and all the symbolism clogs Longtail's senses just long enough for Rusty to become Firepaw. And then suddenly this kid comes in all, Redtail's dead and ruins everybody's day. Then he faints before he can properly tell anyone what happened. Everyone stares at Redtail's corpse, and Firepaw gets immediately converted to their religion. And then while Firepaw learns about the concept of old people, Blue Star makes Lionheart the new going to be leader of ThunderClan. Tigerclaw quietly throws a tantrum. Just a millisecond later, Firepaw proves he has no idea what he's doing by dragging a Shadow Clan cat back to camp. Everyone decides that murder is a good solution to this problem, but Blue Star stops them. Note, apparently medicine cats didn't have free reign of the territory like they do now. And also they don't know where the other cats' camps are. So, Yellow Fang, allowed to live another Why? day, orders really? Firepaw no. around for 700 chapters until everybody goes to the gathering. At the gathering, Broken Star tells them that Yellow Fang kills babies. Also, they got rid of those babies and losers. Why After babies? they go home, the very second anyone leaves camp, Shadow Clan comes to kill everyone. Lionheart dies, and also Rosetail, an elder you've never heard of, also dies. Yellow Fang saves some babies, even though she hates babies and apparently eats them. But now Blue Star's run out of loyal Ew. warriors to make deputy, so Tiger Claw is given unlimited power. Oh no, says Ravenpaw. Tiger Claw apparently killed Redtail, but that wasn't important until now. Afterwards, Brindleface decides to create some babies using alchemy, but because of her method, two of them evaporate. Suddenly, Spotted Leaf is also dead. Firepaw is sad because Spotted Leaf was hot. Oh, and all of Prosper's babies are gone. Obviously, the baby eater took them, so we're going to go find Yellow Fang. But before they do that, they enter Ravenpaw into the Witness Protection Program, seeing as his mentor has been implying left and right that he's a traitor. So they find Yellowfang in the forest, and Firepaw asks, Hey, did you take those kits? And Yellowfang says, No. And Firepaw says, Okay, I believe you. What the She tells them that Broken Star has been using child laborers and also doing a bit of kitten murdering and blaming it all on her. They confront Broken Star. I killed Mufasa, says Broken Star, and also those kits, and also my dad. They bring the kits back, and Firepaw and Graypaw get promotions. The end. Bruh. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hate. Oh, why you ruin it? <laughs> you, I could have figured it out. Oh my God. Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. If any of you want me to, do, please comment down below. Always want to hear you guys got to say. I love you guys. You got the sweetest and most amazing people ever. And I could have done none of you guys. Really seriously. And my just be reaction videos. I make no money off this, but I really do enjoy doing this because you guys really brighten up my day. And you guys are amazing. Hope to see you guys again next week. I it's, it's guaranteed next week. I'm not, I'm not missing no more weeks. Bye. Love you.